Okay, uh, I think Mr. Mandy, I mentioned that there was a problem that we don't have enough people going into this field. Uh, maybe it was him, maybe Mr. Ramakrishna. Um, for either one of you, first of all, what type of compensation do people say right out of college make if they go into this, this sort of field, you feel? Did you give me an idea? I guess it's maybe an unfair question, but. Yeah, I think it was Mr. Smith that commented on that, but I would comment. I think it's uh, everybody is seeking uh, to hire more cybersecurity professionals. This is something that you don't just walk out of college great at this and proficient at this. You do come out of college with some background in it, but generally you have to do some on the job training as well. Um, but uh, right now, there's a lot of colleges offering programs. There is a lot of infusion of talent into those programs. And I know the military is actively recruiting people into the cybersecurity space. So it's um, it's something where the ranks are starting to grow. Uh, but right now, the biggest challenge is the 1A enterprises are getting the talent because they can afford it and they have the resources for it. And I think there's a bigger concern for smaller agencies in the government or for small to medium businesses that may not have the, uh, the mission or the money to get the talent. Okay, I realize people probably pay all over the map and, and that sort of thing. But give me a, a general idea. And for two, two questions. First of all, a general idea, the compensation people make. And secondly, what type of background do you look at? I think like a lot of jobs you're telling me, this is you get hired by somebody and then they train you. But if that's the case, what type of background do you get out of college? Do you want to be a communications major? Do you want to be a physics major? What type, what type of thing are you looking for uh, when you hire somebody out of college as well? For, for me, and, and then, you know, I'd be fascinated with the other witnesses' answers. It's computer science background or just an unbelievable passion and desire to be in cybersecurity. It's got to be a fit of desire. Yeah, I'd offer a, a, a few thoughts. I mean, number one, if somebody wants to go get trained in cybersecurity, they're likely to have a good job for the rest of their life. Uh, this is uh, an area that's going to continue to grow in importance. Um, second, I would just say, uh, you know, if you look at uh, technology jobs, you certainly look at companies like ours, um, you know, even entry level positions, uh, you know, have compensation at or north of $100,000 per year. Uh, and, you know, people make more money over time. Third, I do think that there's a, another important aspect of this, which is really thinking about the pipeline even more broadly than, say, computer science graduates from four-year colleges. Uh, at, at one level, uh, I think there's a huge amount that community colleges can do to help accelerate the development of the cybersecurity workforce. People who might have gotten their training in something else, they want to go back if, if they want to spend, say, a year uh, taking a set of cybersecurity related courses in community colleges, um, they can put themselves on a path to quickly enter this field. And, and then finally, I would say we need to keep investing even before we get uh, kids to college. Um, I grew up in the district next to yours. I grew up in Appleton. You know, as a company, we in Microsoft you know, do work to provide uh, computer science in high schools. We do it in, say, the two Oshkosh high schools uh, in, in your district. And what we are finding is that there are young people everywhere who want to learn this field. They just don't have the opportunity that they need and deserve today. So I think with the right kind of uh, action from the federal government, state governments, private sector philanthropy, we can move so much faster to create more opportunities for people. And uh, Congressman Krathman, if I may add, I agree with um, both my colleagues here on all the points that they made. There are a lot of free online courses and resources that students uh, and kids can essentially access and start becoming savvy in these fields. The criticality there is that the internet is not accessible to everyone in the country. And to the degree that we can do that to ensure that, for instance, inner city kids, uh, economically disadvantaged children have access to the internet and we give visibility to them for these courses, we will have a larger, more effective, more diverse workforce. And to your question about what can they get paid, I would say with a high school degree and some experience learning online and putting it to use, depending on where you are in the country, because cost of living changes, you can make anywhere from seventy to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars to begin with. 